chairman. So, Commissioner, uh, I, 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 uh, I need to ask you a question about an issue that sort of operates under the radar. Uh, it's called sickle cell anemia. I know you, I'm sure you're familiar with the, the disease, the genetic disease, but it's, it's, it's highly unnoticed. And I have experienced in my community with people who have the disease and people who are struggling to help them. And I don't want to put it on your radar screen. Probably because it, it goes unnoticed. It's a struggle that people should not have to endure. It's a painful issue. I learned about it when I was a PTA lead many, many years ago because we had one person who we had to take care of and we did just as her family would. The second one is traumatic brain injury. Traumatic brain injury in New York State is an out of state issue. People who are suffering from traumatic brain injury right now, to my knowledge, we send most of them to other states, which is very detrimental to their well being because very often their families can't get to them as much as they could and should. It's being managed by Department of Health, and they don't get it. But uh, I want to see traumatic brain injury better addressed in New York State. If you do most issues that confront many people in New York State, you know, I know you must know all the reasons why people have traumatic brain injury, and they're not all at the same degree of injury. And so they require different treatments, and they can be treated in different settings. And, but it's not being addressed in, in the state. Can you give me your response to that? Sure. So we do actually have a TBI waiver that's been very uh, well received by the community and by providers. Both Commissioner Courtney Burke and I have visited uh, provider organizations that provide services for TBI in Long Island. I, I go to their annual conference. I, I think that there's much more to be done. There's always more to be done for patients with TBI. But we're actually doing better than most states. And uh, we have a trajectory of continued improvement. And for sickle cell, again, this is an example of an issue which should be much higher on the radar. It's a disparities issue. Uh, it's uh, an issue that I know very well from my time at Health and Hospitals Corporation, where I treated many of these patients. And HHC is an example of a, a group who has a center of excellence for sickle cell. And we are looking uh, at ways to continue to support these centers of excellence, uh, HHC and others, mostly downstate. Uh, who use evidence-based protocols to treat patients and keep them out of the hospital. Uh, there's some new pharmaceuticals that hold much great uh, promise for sickle cell. Uh, it has been under the radar for many, but certainly not for me, and certainly not for the health department. Uh, one of our Medicaid redesign work groups has looked at it as well. Uh, because it is such a, a, a big issue and it's a disparities issue, it's cross-cutting of many of our priorities. So thank you for, for highlighting that issue, and I agree that it is one where we can continue to make progress. Well, I would really like to know uh, exactly who was this you that uh, you would tell me that I can reach out to, because my, I know that AJC is involved at this point, because the organization in my community is, is attached to them. But it, it's all a matter of how much attention and how much money and resources are available for them to to uh, possibly You know, that, that's exactly right. And some of the tools we now have today, looking at the Medicaid data and understanding how much money is being spent on patients with sickle cell, allow us greater flexibility to make the investments to keep them well. And that's been a conversation we've had internally in our department, but also with Larray Brown and others at HHC on how to optimize the care of these patients in their communities as opposed to in the hospitals, which is where they end up. I, I'd be happy to speak with you after this offline. And because we plan to bring some of our traumatic brain injury patients back into our state. Uh, we have continued, yes, 